Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to tell you how to install the Evolution X ROM in Realme X1 Max. So it is an unofficial latest ROM which we got, I mean which is available right now. So I'll just tell you each and every step to install any custom ROM in Realme X7 Max. So I'll also try to show you my computer screen and what are the commands you need to use if you connected your mobile phone to your system. So I'll just try to mention each and every step. So please do not skip the video and watch the video entirely. So we just need to have the files. So as you can see the internal storage, so these two are all the files we just need. One is the Evolution X and one is the firmware file. So right now we just need to power off our system, our mobile phone. So let me turn off my device. So right now as it got powered off, we just need to press all the three buttons. I mean the volume buttons and the power button at a time so that it will be into the fast boot mode. So let me just do one thing. I'm just pressing all the three as you can see so this is the fast boot mode and i will connect this mobile phone to my system and i'll show you what are the steps we just need to do let me just open my folder here so this is the platform tools we need the platform tools for sure and i'll just provide you the link in the description also this is a firmware file and as you can see this is my backup of realme x7 max stock ui so i'll just do one more video how to exactly do by showing my computer screen as well so let me just do one thing we just need to extract by right clicking on this so we just need to click on extract files if you just click on extract files so there will be a separate folder called platform tools so once you extract this you will get into this file so just open that and now here you just need to hold the shift button and press right click on your mouse and just open the powershell window so here you just need to do dot forward slash fast boot reboot recovery so once you entered this your mobile phone will be booted into the twrp recovery so let me just click on enter here as you can see now our device got turned off and it will be routed into the TWRP recovery mode. So friends right now we are in the TWRP recovery so let me just click on install and these are all the two files which we need in order to flash the Evolution X ROM. So what we just need to do is first of all you just need to select the firmware file and click on add more zips here and next click on Evolution ROM here and you just need to swipe to confirm flash so it will just uh, first flash the firmware and after that it will flash the evolution x so as you can see it is installing the evolution x rom which is based on android version 11 and the security batch is on november 5th with which is the latest unofficial build so why i am doing this video is because i just wanted to show you each and everything so what is the command that i am using in order to reboot into the recovery and what is the command that i am using to erase the user data i just wanted to show each and everything so i'll just pause the video and once the room got installed i'll be back so friends now as you can see here the evolution x rom got installed and we just need to wipe the cache and dalvik so here is the main procedure right now so as we install the evolution x rom we just need to format the user data so then only you will your mobile phone will be rebooted into the system without any issue okay so let me just do one thing friends so i mean as i said before you just need to clear the user data so please take the backup of your stock ui so if at all if there is an issue you can directly flash that so no need to worry about that so please do note please take your backup of realme ui so friends right now in order to clear the user data you just need to do one thing friends so just click on reboot and click on fast boot so once you clicked on fast boot it will be redirect into the fast boot mode so let me just show you so it is now redirecting into the fast boot mode so let's wait for that so you just need to do for i mean whenever you are flashing any rom you just need to clear the user data in your mobile phone and then only it will be working without any issue so right now you can see this is in the fast boot mode friends and here you just need to enter a command which is fast boot minus w 
so friends actually uh, let me just click on dot forward slash so now fast boot space minus w so if we just click on enter now so as you can see the user data got erased and i mean so entire user data got erased now dot forward slash fast boot mine space reboot so once you do that it will be restarted i mean your system will be restarted and your mobile will be switched on with your new evolution x rom so whenever you wanted to do anything so first of all the major thing you just need to do is you just need to clear the user data so once after clearing the user data everything will be fine and it will be booted into the system so friends i have just clicked on enter here and see as you can see it is now redirected into the evolution x rom here so we just need to wait and i'll just set up each and everything and i'll show you how exactly it's look it look like so it will just take some time friends so i'll just pause the video and i'll just configure each and everything i'll i'll be back so as you can see it was just booted into the evolution x rom right now so i'll just uh, boot i mean i'll just configure each and everything here and i'll just connect to wifi and i'll get back to you so friends as you can see right right now i am just uh, switched on my system so after clearing the user data using the fast boot mode so uh, we just need to use fast boot space minus w so after clearing the user data so my phone is successfully booted into the evolution x room and these are some of the applications so i'll just do try to do another video what are all the new fe new features in the evolution x room which is an unofficial latest build so i hope you enjoyed the video friends so if you like this video please share the video and if if at all if there is any issue please comment in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel thank you